One minute. See what happens. Hey, car. This is my new electrophonic guitar modillo and I'm not sure if you guys saw my little video I posted the other day but I was so freaking excited to get this uh, since Louis Shelton brought his over a, a month or two ago and we made a little video on it and I just had to get my hands on one and I have one and I also have with me right now Jan and Joe from uh, Electrophonic and here they are. Hey guys, how you doing? What's up, Brett? I'm going Hello, to <laughs> so, Throw another shrimp on the board. <laughs> Don't get me started with the American accent. I'll probably I'll probably break into one before before too long. But guys, I just wanted to say first and foremost, thank you so much for this guitar. I'm seriously taking this with me everywhere. I went uh, to the coffee shop. I live above a coffee shop, and I went down there yesterday. And of course, I took this. I'm not sure if you saw my picture. My girl was playing it down there. Um, Gets a lot of looks, everyone's looking at it, and it's like, wow, what is that? So, um, thank you. <laughs> cool, man. Cool. So, well, we'll expect to see pictures of it all over uh, Queensland and uh, that whole that whole reverse uh, Whirlpool area. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of this. I haven't tried that. I'm off to Germany next week, so I might try that that theory of whether it goes backwards. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Good, yeah. good thing to work on. Yeah. Good things to think about. But Jan, Joe, man, what, what made you guys think about building this kind of thing? What... Well, what, 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 made, what made you think about doing this kind of thing? Oh, actually, it started as a dream, Rick. I was kind of like dreaming about having a dream about a guitar. It just The sound, the electric guitar sound just came out of it. And it, I woke up and I'm like, wow, that's cool. And so I just you know, kept festering on it. and. Um, you know, one thing led to another. <laughs> wow, wow. Well, well, the thing that I'm really impressed with about it is the, the full sound. It's, I gotta say, back in the 90s, I picked up one of those little Fernandez guitars with a, with a little speaker in it, and it <laughs> sounded god awful. Um, it, it had an action, like the strings were this high on it, and it, it sounded terrible. I don't think you could actually plug it in and use it um, as a guitar it, direct into a board anywhere. Uh, but what gets me about this straight out of the, the, the box is how well it plays. Like the action on this, I'm not sure if 
people can actually see. But you know, like that's, that's a really our, our, our Sanders. Our Sanders are just ridiculously good. Focus. focus. They're musicians. Yeah. Cool. Cool. But yeah, the and thing that gets me about this actually. is how well placed. Uh, and I, I'm actually going to run a little clip. I've got a clip here in case anybody hasn't seen it of me actually getting this and unboxing it. So I'm just going to take a second to play that. Go ahead. Goody, oh, goody, oh, goody. The UPS bench just passed by door. door. I, I have, have something at the front, front and I know, I know what it is. You get it today. You get it today. I just don't have to play on here because I'm not going to get this thing to die on me. You guess me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, I am. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you, mate. Yes. I have a new guitar. <laughs> I have a new guitar. Ooh, ooh. Still really need to pee. I have a big knife. I'm going to open it up. Awesome. Very excited. The song is killer. I know you spent a lot of time writing that. This was custom built to my color, my choice, my choice of color, knobs, etc. So let's see. Electrophonic. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that's my new guitar. Oh my. Oh my. They gave me bird's eye maple. I didn't ask for bird's eye maple, but that's a bonus. I got freaking bird's eye maple fretboard on it. Look at that! Look at that! My new electrophonic guitar modillo. Scratch proof, take it anywhere. Built in amplifier, speakers. Wow, it's not going to be anywhere near in tune. It's, it's in freaking tune! It's in tune! I just opened it, it's been sent from America and it's in freaking tune! No way! Check that out! Who's a happy boy? I am. Yeah. Just in time to start teaching for the day too, so uh, guess what guitar I'm going to be playing? <laughs> my little iPhone. So really looking forward to doing a demo on this. Um, speakers, amplifiers, stereo effects, built-in delay, chorus, overdrive -y stuff, all the good stuff. Coming real soon. Electrophonic, guitar modillo. Woo! So that was a lot of fun to make. I that didn't take anything to make actually. I just picked up my phone and went with it. That was probably the, easy, the quickest and easiest uh, video I've ever made in my life. But I was totally impressed that it was out of it was in tune straight out of the box, all the all the way around the other side of the world. So that is impressive. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, I've, we've got a question already uh, in the chat room. Wait, wait, wait. May, I say, may I say, we did the, ge the uh, geodesic uh, permutations on the weather conditions in the shipping lanes, and that's how we're able to pre-tune it so that when you open it in the box in your humidity, it's dead balls on accurate. <laughs> I've only ever had that once before, and this was when I got... <laughs> I, uh, 
once before, and this is back in 1991, giving away my age here, when I got my Hamer guitar set from America. Um, it was a, a Hamer. Ha Hamer oh, set. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it yeah. had a Floyd Rose locking system, and I pulled that out, and it was perfectly in tune, and I was really surprised that, wow, this just came from the other side of the world. This, with no locking system, um, was in tune straight away. We've got a question already in the uh, in the chat room from Mark over at Tone Talk. Will you guys be making a left-handed version, or is there a left-handed version available? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We're, we're, it's coming. It's coming. But okay. We don't know quite yet. Yeah. We, we have to build uh, some more fixtures for Lefty, and also none of us play Lefty, so it's you know a little difficult at this point to get it exactly perfect. You can't flip it upside down because then the knobs are on the bottom. It's too, too hard. Oh, okay. yeah. The knobs are in your nether regions. Uh oh <laughs> We don't want that. We don't want that. Right, left hand, and you'll figure it out. Yeah, it's yeah just... we'll figure it out. We'll get it. We'll get it. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to reverse everything in the in the 3D programs and make it all happen. Okay. And all this time when I was watching Tone Talk, uh, I thought that the screen was just flipped backwards, but no, Mark's actually actually a left-hander, so we've got to look after our left-handed friends. So speaking right. about it being in June and tremolos, you guys have also got uh, this amazing little tremolo system here. Uh, tell us yeah, about that. Yeah, we make these too. It's yeah. just, uh, the thing is, it bolts right on the top, and you yep. can swap it out with the regular tail piece if you want to go back to a hard tail. It's just as easy as taking out the three screws and putting the hard tail in there. Oh, we, we owe him a hard tail. We want to send him a hard oh, okay. tail. Yeah. I forgot yeah. to send the hard tail. Yeah, I was looking in the box because we did talk about that. I was going to do a little video for you guys to show just how easy it is to swap it over. Um, We'll send, it, we'll send it to you along with the... Uh, yeah, it's like it's an awesome whammy. Beautiful. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Double... We got ball bearings in it. We, we got the bearings, some bearings in it and... and yeah, ball, ball, steel, uh, stainless steel ball bearings. Custom springs, uh, chrome over brass axle, and then you have this little tensioner here, so you can. Uh, once what, what, what you adjust the um, arm to where you like it, you can kind of, you know, put some tension on it so it doesn't just swing wild out like crazy. Cool, cool. I like, it's like that. that. That was my that was my laptop zoom. <laughs> <laughs> it worked very well. It worked very well. So, how did you how did you guys meet? Uh, you want to tell him? Sure. Uh, Joe had a recording studio uh, in a place in Burbank, and uh, I had uh, been in that same place already for a few years. So we had two studios next to each other, two recording studios next to each other, and we just hit it off right at that point. This is like, that was like about how many years ago? Are you asking how they're made? Like. How we manufactured? Yeah, how we got together, right? How, how you guys met? How you guys met? Originally. Yeah, we met like 30 years ago with our studios next to each other, and we've yeah. remained friends ever since. And I, he's got, he's got the coolest. He had, he had a studio. He moved the studio out to Redondo Beach, and I used to come down there and hang out. And he has this killer Wurlitzer, uh, uh, two Wurlitzer Whirly 200, and he had a drum set and all the stuff set up in his Pro Tools room and his. In his little studio party pad, and we would just go off, you know, we were just always jamming. I'm the keyboard kind of guy. And so we were always kind of hanging out, and Joe is always uh, kind of really, you know, trying to come up with cool new little gimmicks and gadgets and so on and so forth. And he kept showing me his development on this guitar, on, on his idea. And it got to a point where I said, dude, okay, I get it. <laughs> and we started the company awesome. right, right, right from the spot. Awesome. And years ago, we were playing with Warrior and just traveling with guitars. Joe wanted yeah, to Yeah, I made a proto prototype and then, you know, prototype. just uh, proved one that was kind of more of a telly uh, style. You've seen the pictures of the telly one? I don't think I have, no. 
No. Yeah, it had, it had a little one watt amp in it, a little echo, and it was just bitching. It had a Tijuana tuck and roll on it. It was just awesome. She's come a okay. long way. That was, that was P1. Okay, okay. So Sorry, speaking fine. of body shapes, um, this is not too dissimilar to a, to a Telecaster, I guess, if this was just uh, a little different, but... What kind of thought did, went into uh, just the layout of everything here? Um, just sure. yeah, tell us about how, how you developed it all. Well, we, we were really looking for uh, something more on a, on a Les Paul kind of a vibe uh, originally. And uh, not knowing 3D, I got some uh, blueprints of some uh, 57 Les Pauls and decided that that would be a good place to start. And then we decided that uh, the glue, you know, glue-in neck is not going to work for us. You know, Leo Fender had some smarts, but you can't buy you can't buy 22 fret uh, uh, bolt-ons. They're they're not really of that scale of the scale. Yeah, of the scale. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It just doesn't happen. Plus, we're on a you know, like the original 57s had a little three-degree slope on the on the neck compared to the body, so we, we were true to that, and we, we got the headstock at 16 degrees, they were originally 17. Okay. Yeah, so we're trying to give it that, but at the same time, I don't know how, but this thing can do tele sounds as well. I, I don't understand it's it. It's kind of a cross, really, body-wise, because it's got the contouring kind of like a Strat, some, you know. Some yeah, we like the Strat's contouring, and we felt like, you know, this is kind of like, uh, uh, a violin player's chin piece, you know, it kind of fits your arm. Yeah, and then, and then we have the two full range speakers, so, you know, the form of the, of the horn here sort of follows the function so that, you know, there's a special chambering inside there that allows the sound to develop into that full sound that you mentioned. So, um, you know, and then we have the two speakers there, so very stereophonic. Yeah, that, that's what we got the patent on, on the, uh, the chambering. Okay, yep. Because it is a very full sound. Um, it just fills the room. And so I'm not sure if people are aware, but uh, you can actually use this direct into uh, a mixer if you wanted to do a gig and not have to bring an amp. It's all in here. So if people haven't seen uh, the demo I, I did for Louis Shelton showing off your, your Model 1, that was recorded right here. We just plugged directly from his guitar into Pro Tools, or and no effects, no processing. It's all coming out of the guitar. So you guys have managed to squeeze into here. And I'm not sure if I can get it. Hey, okay, you can see that. This way, everything's backwards. Right. <laughs> we can choose between different uh, models. You've got modern, UK, LUX. LUX. What's LUX? Uh, sort of like a deluxe. Uh, deluxe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then you've got over, overdrive one, overdrive two, clean. But then you've also got some uh, EQ options of warm, punch, and mid range. Um, I know Louis was very excited that he could get a Santana kind of sound playing with it. Um, but then you guys have got a, a high and low EQ delay. Love that you've got delay in here. I should actually turn it on. So yeah. analog. Is it analog delay? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I love that it feeds back like that. That's awesome. It's all I know. Uh, then you've got a chorus on here as well, so you guys can. You know, Another can analog, analog product. Analog. Analog. It's all about analog. I gotta say, I said this in my last uh, chit chats. Uh, I've got an, an analog uh, Arion uh, chorus pedal, and it just eats anything digital. There's just nothing, and it's, I got it for fifty bucks in Japan. Um, you know, well, the thing you say, it just works that way. <laughs> it works out. Yeah. Yeah. Our our, our designer to our electronics guy, uh, part of our team, uh, Tim Thompson. Yeah. Was, uh, he was uh, head of design for. Uh, Kurzweil. For, for Kurzweil Electronics okay. for years. Yep. This guy is like, like he, he, he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So he, he's the guy that designed all your electronics then, yeah? Yep. 
Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yes. 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 Yeah. So um, one thing that when you're actually playing it, uh, so there's two speakers on here. You got one down here and up here, uh, and it comes out. It's it's in stereo. How have you guys got that? Is it just the delay comes out one speaker or? Yeah, the delay leans more to one speaker, and yep. same with the of course, the modulated uh, sound comes out mainly from from uh, this speaker. Okay. But, yep. but, but uh, they're both full range. This one just has a little bit of lows rolled up. So yeah, when you're playing, you know, you're getting a very good stereo feel because your your head is kind of right between the speakers. So. That's one thing. Yeah, I noticed that as I'm playing. It it. it um, That's how we balanced it, you know. So for the player, he's like, yeah, right in the middle of it. <laughs> now, the, these are actually very affordable. Uh, off the off the shelf, how much are you guys charging for these? The Dillos are eight ninety five. Eight ninety five, US. Yeah, uh, yep. uh, and and then you have your choice of necks. You can upgrade the neck to like a maple or something. Those are a little extra. Yeah, but not much. And then uh, the fretboard. The fretboard. I'm sorry, the fretboard. Yep. Uh, there's choice. They come with standard with catalogs. Uh, oh, yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. yeah, a lot of manufacturers use catalogs, and then we can upgrade to. Uh, we've got a Mexican rosewood called Granadillo. It's gorgeous. Okay. Granadillo. Uh, I don't pronounce it right. I, I, I pronounce it like grenadine, like some sort of a sweet drink or something. Ebony, ebony, ebony. We have ebony, nice. and then we have maple and the bird's eye and things like that. So they're they're all on the website, and you can just pop them, yeah. and pick which one you want. And then on the custom shops, even more exotic. Yeah, custom yeah. shop has some more exotic some stuff. Zebra wood and crazy stuff. So e e p guitars dot com is if that anyone wants to check out uh, prices uh, and yeah. options. Yeah. Nice, nice site too. I see you got Sammy oh, Hagar. Okay. Sammy Hagar, ex Van Halen, has one of these, man. So, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, we're in good company. His cool is so cool. cool. Yeah, his is way cool. Custom, custom shop. Yeah. yeah. Now, so you guys have also there's two models. There is the the model one, which we did the demo with Louis, which is pretty much the same, just with a shiny finish, right? Yeah, it's, and a, it's a much one, higher end finish. This one's called we the Guitar Modulo uh, because it's covered in a scratch-proof, um, what, what do you call this coating? Texture text text finish, basically. Text 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 Impervacoat. <laughs> Impervacoat, that's the one, yeah. Not, so, to be in, not to be confused with any kind of perv thing, yeah. but it's impervious. <laughs> it's impervious. Yeah. So I thought when I saw these, it's like, that's what I need. So I can just throw it in the back of the car not worry about it getting scratched um, because this really is the ultimate travel guitar um, and it sounds so cool like I say I can turn up to a gig and just plug direct using the onboard uh, preamps uh, and effects and just play it's awesome <laughs> that's the idea we, we didn't realize how far it would actually get us you know I mean this this thing was just supposed to sound good coming out of the guitar and it sounds so good coming out of the jack and there's also a headphone jack so you can sit there and play you know when no one's you know and then there's a uh, computer input output jack which is kind of cool so you can uh, plug in your uh, Bluetooth, uh, a Bluetooth or something, and play your phone and run it through the guitar, and it's it's awesome. It's awesome. You play along. All your music's coming out of the speakers on the guitar from your phone, and you're jamming along. It's just perfect. Absolutely. So um, when I had Louis one here for a few days, so I it was the middle of winter. I'd sit out on my balcony in the sun, and I would come out of my phone and just Google a backing track. And I would plug that into here. Everything's backwards, so excuse me fumbling. It's trying to focus on my eyes. I'll just hide my eyes. <laughs> focus, focus, focus. There we nice. Go. Got it. Uh, yeah, so I could plug my smartphone into there, and then the phone, the backing tracks would come out of the speakers as well as the guitar. And I used to use a little uh, battery powered amp that I'd sit out there with, but uh, that no longer needs needs to be used, I can just uh, use this. used to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's absolutely used perfect. To do I that. love Completely. it. I love it. Yeah. So uh, have we got any people in the chat room? Do we have any questions for Jan and Joe in the, in the chat room? If so, just uh, shoot away. We've got the, oh, let me just go through. 
There's a few people there. Yeah. So, um, how long does it take if somebody was to order one of these? How long does it take for them to get their hands on one? It depends. Uh, we've got. Uh, the, the times are getting shorter and shorter. There was a time <laughs> before we had our kind of systems together where it was quite some wait. But now I would say worst case 90 days, but it's much more like, you know, it's, it's a lot less than that, depending on the model you order. We're getting much faster, much faster. And there are some custom guitars in the shop that we build as uh, show models and things like that that are, I think you might have seen some of them, there, there's some killer custom stuff, and those are actually available, so, uh, cool. you know, how's that? Does that make sense? It does, it does. Now, I, I was very surprised that um, this has bird's eye maple on there, uh, you probably saw it in my video how excited I was about that, because uh, I wasn't expecting that. But, I know, uh, we, we, all, we all were drooling on that fretboard. <laughs> that, we were going to get an autograph by Clarence, bird's eye. Oh, okay, yeah. But he's dead. <laughs> Could always have a seance or something. Yeah, so... Um, man, what else can I say about this? This is just great. Oh, now, I, I actually got to choose the colour, the fretboard, uh, the knobs. You guys put Marshall-style knobs on here for me. Well, the model that you got, we call that one Marshall Dillo. Marshall Dillo. As, as in Marshall Dillon, you know, we're kind of playing off that. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's uh, from the Guitar Modillo family of our guitars with the Impervicoat texture. And uh, that particular one, uh, we just uh, like the Marshall vibe, so we gave it the color scheme and we gave it the knobs from the Marshall. The gold plexi. The gold plexi. Uh, Control panel, panel and, yeah. and big, big art. It goes to 11. <laughs> yes, yes, I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, who, who, else, who else out there has one of these? Who, who else out Sorry? there has one of these? Who has one of these out there in the in the big bad world? I, I see uh, Sammy the, Hagar has one. We've got guitars, you know, as you said, Sammy has one. Uh, Colby Calais is playing one now. There's no um, other one like he has. Oh, you mean like the like the Dillo? Like the guitar uh, just, just in general, your guitars. Who, who's playing your guitars? Oh, they're, they're pretty new. We're just we're just starting to get them out there. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just starting. Yeah. Yeah. So how long have you actually guys been selling them for? We started ship. We actually started shipping our first models last February. Okay. Okay. So it's very new. February. It was this this February. Yeah, last February. Okay. 2019. We went to our first NAMM show. Our, actually, it was the first NAMM show with actual product. And uh, then we came back and we actually started shipping our first guitars. We had actually gone on Indiegogo, and, uh, or one of those, um, a long time ago and tried it out. But we were not shipping guitars at that point, so it really it, it didn't count. But when we finally got our production uh, functions together, we started shipping in February, and the rest is uh, how fast can we make them? Please, we need to make them faster. I see these big guys making two, three, four hundred guitars a day. I get it. Well, must they? You know, but but you know, we'll we'll, we'll get there. Yeah, yeah. So, how many guys have you got working at the factory actually building these? Nine or ten guys now, I think, yeah. all together. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, we've got some great, great people. We've got some great Sanders, uh, electronics guys, they're all good. Aaron and Jason. Jason does incredible prep work. Uh, Jason uh, Sutherland. And uh, uh, Vicente is a kill. They're all great guitar players, too. You probably may have seen some of their demos on, you know, when they're testing stuff out. But. Yeah. Yep. They're, all They're all musicians, musicians so, so they, they care, care about, about the instruments when they build them. them. Yeah, so uh, and dedicated to the, getting it. Yeah, really yeah, Ray is ridiculous. Ray, Ray, our, our, our main sander, and uh, we have a uh, and Mike handles all of our CNC stuff now. We've got our CNC room, and he also 
does the dillos. He's the guy that handles the finish on the dillos, getting that texture and the color. I think we're up to about nine colors or eight colors now on that thing. They're like, they're skateboard colors. I mean, they're just rocking colors. Cool. And they're always coming up with stuff, so. Yeah, yeah. Great, great. Yeah, I think you mentioned uh, Louis came in, Louis Shelton came in and visited you guys recently, and he picked up another one, uh, a pine, pine model. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. really cool looking. Okay, so so Joe ha happens to be kind of a pack rat, yeah. and he found a, a pine table, I believe, somewhere, and he looked at it and thought, guitar, you know, that, that table should become a guitar or, or a pair of sandals. So, so, so he brought it to the shop, and we hacked it up and uh, made a guitar out of it, and relic, it's, it's just kind of a natural relic, and it's got kind of... You know, old. It looks like it's been around since the '50s. And Louie was uh, stopping in L.A. and he he picked it up and he goes, "Uh huh, yeah, yeah." Anyway, I think he's got it. He's holding on to it right now. I, I you know, we don't know where he went. I think he's in Nashville or something. Yeah, I think Nashville is where he said he was off to. Um, it's funny. The day before he left, he he um, was asking me to help him with a. a he's seen my iPad iPad rig. I've got a little iPad. Uh, guitar rig that I use and he's like oh I need something to practice while I'm away can you help me set up one of those and it, we were running out of time so the fact that he dropped in to see you guys and, and now has one of your guitars I think is is perfect uh, now that was my introduction to your company was through Louis uh, how do you guys know Louis very ironic let, let, let me let me kind of think this through you live in Queensland that's right Okay. okay. We, we live in the United, United States, States, which escaped, escaped from, from the king. king. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then Louis, who lived here, left L.A. to live with you. That's right. So he escaped. So now, uh, I miss the guy when he's not here, you know? I mean, he was here, he escaped. It's, it's ironic. <laughs> Louis, Louis is an ama you know, amazing guy, great producer, and my favorite player, and uh, we miss him, but he'll, he'll probably swing through here, we hope, and uh, hang out some more and give us some more of that. I think you got another one in you. That, that was what he would say every time we would do a take. How's that, Louis? I think you got another one in you. <laughs> And that's a that's a very diplomatic way, isn't it, of saying? Yeah, He's a diplomat. You can do better. Yeah, yeah. So you mentioned him as a producer. Did he he produced uh, something for you in the past? Did he? Yeah, he yeah, used he to produce my band band back, band back band in the uh, Marvel Bones back in the days. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. he was a producer. He was uh, doing uh, uh, Seals and Crofts in those days, and uh, everybody else. He had Dawnbreaker Studios, and then he had a studio in his home. And uh, he used to bring my band in there, and it was great. It was great. Yeah, nice. He's just awesome. Cool, cool. Well, as I say, that's uh, that was my introduction uh, to your guitars when he brought it around, and uh, he was walking down the way from his car playing this thing with this big grin on his face, just going, "Check this out!" I was like, "Let let me let me play that." And then, as I said to you guys, I was just immediately struck at how well the guitar played. It just had a beautiful, nice low action. So you guys have done great in producing. You, you guys have produced a, a great playing guitar that sounds good, that you can take anywhere. So I can't recommend this highly enough to anybody who's looking for a, a travel guitar or even a, a gigging guitar where you can just plug it straight in. Man, awesome. I like to find it. Rick. Yes. Carla. Uh, Joe's wife, Carla. Yeah. Hello. Thank you. And you're a part of the team. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Let me just. Okay, now I can see you. Awesome. Awesome. Nice to meet you. You too. You too. Well, thank, thank you guys. It was so exciting. Thank you guys so much for. Um, for sending me the guitar, I'm, I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of this. Um, now, as I said to you guys, I'm off to Germany next week to hang out with uh, a whole bunch of uh, of the world's top guitar YouTubers. I have no place being there. I'm, I'm such a, a, a new guy at this. 
But um, when I come back, yeah, yeah. LA, you gotta come by the factory. And just well, Joe's the lawyer, you yeah, should play in LA. Are, are you coming through LA or you're going straight? No, I'm going. I'm going via Singapore. It's it's a completely different route. But uh, I am looking at coming. I'm, I'm hoping to come to uh, to Nam uh, this this time around. So if I do, I'll be coming to see you guys and seeing the factory. Maybe do a little factory tour. Oh yes. Oh yes. We want to be our guest. Can we have a Skype jam? Can we have? Yeah. I haven't tried that yet. I haven't tried that yet. Well, I'm not sure how, the, um, how it goes for it delay. Might, like, might be too much delay. Like. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how that works. We can try. <laughs> oh, my Woo! Oh! Let me turn that down a bit so I can hear you guys. Yeah, turn it down so you can hear him. Too. <laughs> you guys are in G? <laughs> okay. It's hard to hear over this. I think it's going to be a bit hard to do. A, I can't hear over the. Over the sound we have to overcome, overcome physics. physics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's got to be a way to do it, like to load up a backing track that we could both play to or something. I think that would probably work. Joe's very good at doing yeah. that, and so is Jan. These guys were studio guys together. Yeah. Oh, you got to check this out. We brought another one over here. Okay, yeah. What have you got there? Show me what you got. Uh, this is a custom shop. <laughs> you can see it. Oh, oh look at that. Nice. <laughs> Okay, so you got a Filtertron in there. Nice pearly pick guard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, wow, that's that a beauty. Looks beautiful. She's like a vintage spirit. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, our neck. Out of our necks. <laughs> okay. Hey, how, how do you like the, those, those batteries? batteries? Oh yeah, the grow clock. Oh, the grow clock. Oh, nice, nice, very nice. <laughs> yeah, nice vintage vibe there. That, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Thanks. So, so um, what kind of pickups have you guys got in these things? Just stock. I saw that had a Filtertron pickup in it. What's the stock pickups that you guys use in these? Well, these are our uh, custom spec pickups, and they're made in Korea by one of our partners called Artec. Okay, nice. And was it... Uh, you guys worked on a particular pickup that worked well in this body? Um, exactly. The, you know, our car has a little bit of electronics right in here, so, so uh, you know, we dial them in to work well with, with our uh, custom chambering and the whole thing. So. Yep, yep. So speaking of the, the custom chambering, uh, without pulling the guitar apart, how, how did you get that sounding so, so big? Because there is a lot of bottom end that comes out of this. Uh, does the chambering take up like all in here? Can you explain a bit? It actually, it actually kind of snakes, snakes through, through the guitar. Like an intestine. It comes from up here, here and then down, down here, here and then up through the middle and out here. To get the right, get the right length, length of uh, the length so that, so that you can get the right yeah, length, length for the low end. A lot of time we're searching it to get the right length to tune it to bring out the full range of sound. Right. You know, you know, getting getting it uh, uh, sort of sort tuned of to, to uh, uh, plus the chambering has a treatment on it actually, a rubberized treatment, Dacron packing. So it, you know, there's a lot of things going on. The pickups are uh, especially mounted with a damping material. You know, there's all kinds of trickery going on to get it to. to so that it sustains just the right amount. You notice that it feels alive when you play it. Yeah, and the sustain on it can—it's it, can, it, 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 almost like you have an ebo if you set it right, you know. Exactly. Like uh, a single note or chord, you could you could, you could sustain, sustain a chord, a chord. Uh, because it, they're they're resonating with the chambering. It's yep. pretty pretty amazing. Yeah, sure it does. Now I like that um, the way it it, it feed, feeds back upon itself. Not a squealy kind of feedback, but the, the kind of feedback that you want, which is great. 
a lot of people have never really experienced uh, playing a guitar with the, the right pedal and the right amp settings, you know, turned up and getting feedback instantly and getting it right. I mean, that takes a, that's an art to get it right. And this and thing, you turn it on, and it, it sounds like, you know, you, you know what you're doing. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So. First Ingve stuff you were doing this morning. Oh, that was um. Yeah, I got you. Got to show Joe. So yeah, one thing I've noticed, I've started when I do a three-note per string run. One thing that I've started doing, I'm just going to switch to just my camera. Um, I started doing this weird thing where I, uh, I just raise this up a bit. I start with an upstroke. <laughs> And then I hammer on the very last note, and it feels like I'm only picking half of um, the run, but it comes out very smooth. Uh... I'm going up, down, up, down, hammer. 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 So it's I. Sick. Oh, that's ill. ill. Yeah. That's ill. I, 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 it was strange. I was I was jamming and I didn't know. It was like that feels so right, but it. it I think that's wrong. And um, yeah, no, it was just. Well, so it, it's, it's, not, not, it's not. It's not wrong. wrong. It's illegal. It's illegal. It's illegal. It's illegal. <laughs> uh, it's very hard to play. It's trying to hold the guitar like that. I took the strap off. But um, yeah, I, I've been watching. There's a, a great. Uh, online thing, um, Cracking the Code, it's called, where this guy, uh, I'm trying to think of his name, it's on the tip of my tongue. But anyway, he has this great series where he really dives into the picking of all these great players. And my picking sucked for years, and I, I learned a lot. Troy Grady is the name of the guy. He's done a great job. Um, and he was saying about Ingve Malmsteen, when he descends always on a three note per string, the last note's a pull off, and it gives him time to get the pick to the next string. and I think what I was doing there was that in reverse. So yeah, the, the reverse Ingve. The reverse oh, Ingve. Yeah. yeah. I can't yeah. pronounce it backwards. <laughs> no, you saw somebody on my Facebook actually wrote Ingve backwards. And I know, I saw. Well, you know, you know, wait, I, I can pronounce it backwards. Ingve. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You got it. Now I was looking on, on you guys' site, and I saw um, you, you, a picture of Joe Bonamassa with one of these in his hands. Did. Did you go, manage to... Oh, he was, he, was, he, was, he was with us at a show. I mean, he wasn't playing one. He was just hanging out. But that was, uh, that was cool. That was cool. Nice, nice. We're, you know, we're just starting to get these things out there. So as you can see, you got, you've got uh, the second one like that. I have the first one. You've got the second one like that. But your neck, your neck had me so jealous. I, I, I put a maple neck on mine. <laughs> They're all look kind right now. It's that so one, awesome. Yeah. It's that almost like partying with your children. <laughs> yeah. Bye. <laughs> I'm a big, big fan of uh, maple fretboards with with black tuners. I just think that just looks really nice. Uh, yeah, love it, love it. Create cool. suggestions. Cool. Give us your ideas. Recreate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. It's it's nice to have somebody that will take on um, people's suggestions and. Well, yeah, the yeah, custom, custom shop, shop is pretty uh, pretty, uh, pretty open, open right now. Right. Yeah, you know, we do we've gotten some, some cool, cool cool design, design ideas, ideas from guys, from guys. Uh, uh, and they, they, they have their names on the fretboards and I mean on the pickguards 
and uh, you know, you know color, color schemes, schemes that are uh, just great jam, jam, delicious great jam. Like, that that that's what you want. Whatever dream you have. Orange, <laughs> orange <laughs> burst. Yeah. So you, you guys do offer different pickups in these as well. Um, is, is that something people can can choose like their own type of pickup? I mean, I chose my knobs and everything. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Can you choose custom pickups? Oh, oh yeah, we have a lot of different kinds of pickups. Uh, 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 we, we, we can do. Uh, uh, a single, a single coil, coil stack, stack here, here to get more of a strat type, type sound, sound as opposed yeah. to a hooker sound. sound. So yep. stuff like that. Yeah, we have a P90 version that we played with. It's pretty good as well. Mini hooker, a noise cancelling piece that we have that's pretty good. Yeah, we have a noise cancelling piece that we have that's pretty good. Yeah, we have a noise cancelling piece that we have that's pretty good. Yeah, we have a noise cancelling piece that we have that's pretty Nice. But, nice. but the, the getting it balanced is, is critical so that it, it kind of can play through the pages as you can see. It, it can kind of go from one extreme to another and, and be relatively convincing. We've been sticking pretty much with Alnico 5 all around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's, let's talk guitar players. Who, what guitar players are you guys into? And what would be the ultimate guitar player that you would love to see actually playing one of these? Who? Who's your, your number one dream guy if you went, oh man, there's so-and-so playing one of our guitars? They're all dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> they're, all, they're, they're all dead. <laughs> I'd like to see Jeff Beck play one for sure. Yeah. 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 I think he would really dig the tremolo one. Thing. Yeah. And I want Tom Petty to. And I liked him when he played on Les Paul, and now he plays a strat. Yep. So this would be right in the middle. middle. <laughs> and Ron Montrose, we would have liked to have had. Yeah. There's yeah. gonna be. <laughs> I mean, who else? Well, Eddie Van Halen. Yeah, he could play one. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Oh, so many. Yeah, there's so many. There's, there's so many. Yeah. Uh, you know you what's know, interesting what too is, is you, don't you don't have to be a shredder to get, get some, some good, good stuff out of it. I mean, you, you can, can just play, play simple, simple chords, chords out of it and sound. sound like, you know, yeah, like you like really know what you're doing. I mean, you know, a lot of people, when they sit down on an acoustic for the first time, they're very discouraged because it's kind of difficult and the tone is pretty much, you know what you're going to get, depending on most acoustics. But, but people who know like two or three chords, when they pick up one of these things, they all of a sudden start, you know, all of a sudden they're Pete Townsend and they're strumming a D chord, like, you know, like they're a boss, you know? Yep. So, so one really good thing with these is uh, you've got a I'll just go that way a magnetic cover for the batteries there, uh, yeah, yeah. and it comes with a very hefty battery charger. Uh, what type of battery life can we expect out of these? Well, well it, it, they're they're, uh, they're, they're eighteen six fifties, and I think they're thirty amp or something, thirty amp hour or something, hour, something, something like that, thirty two amp hour. hour. So you so should be able, able to get. get Depending, Depending on how, how loud and how, how much crunch, crunch you have, you have on, on, eight, eight you know, six, six to eight, eight hours, hours easily. easily. Great. And, and pro probably, probably more than, more than that. that. You'll, You'll find that you can leave, leave the thing on, on for a week or two, or two if you've used it right for a half hour. And you won't hit the, the charger, charger on it. On it. Uh, uh, but, but the thing the is that there are the batteries that we chose, we needed something really beefy. Yeah. To get the kind of voltage and to get the kind of gain that we're running. We're running 18 watts out of these things. And the only thing that you can get that kind of voltage out of are vape pen batteries. Hello! You guys are in California. So that was what kind of gave us the idea. They're 18 6 And they're rechargeable. Yeah, they're these guys. And they're rechargeable. Yep. Yeah, and uh, you, can, you can get uh, their vape. They were the original vape pen batteries. Not now. Now they're a lot smaller. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> but those just batteries uh, deliver really high current, also, which is what helps to get that punch. You know, when you really get that nice chunk, yeah. you need yeah. you need it to deliver high current like that. So yeah. Yeah. Like, Instant attacks. Much better than like double A's or something like that. Okay. So I I just noticed something just now. I was looking at these cool badges that you had on the back, but then I realized that's actually the magnets off the back of the speaker, isn't it? 
Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you got us. <laughs> yeah. Now, so the, the tremolo design and um, also the the chambering, uh, there's a bit of a Brian May influence there. You guys, Brian May fans. Brian May from Queen. Brian May. May. Are you Brian May fans? Oh, love Brian, Brian May. Just saw him. Just saw him. We're still there. Yeah, because uh, the, the tremolo he designed on his original red special is is, is yes, yeah, very similar. similar. Except, except his uh, springs uh, are actually you know below uh, level and ours are right on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so one thing that's cool about that trick is yeah. this, this could be retrofitted on uh, any flat top uh, tunematic guitar. Cool. It doesn't have, it's not just star guitar, so, you know, I put it on an ESP guitar, I put it on a Les Paul Jr., and so it, it's, you know, a really cool, like, option rather than a big B that has more range and more, you know, you can get a Strat type vibe out of it. Yeah, yeah. 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 nice A8 to 10, to, uh, you know, tone bends, yeah. not just a little minus three tone, you know. Yeah, yeah. Love it, love it. So, yeah, I did see um, how easy it was to, it's just a, a few screws to, to change them. Um, you guys are going to send me the, the fixed bridge as well. And I'll, I'll do a little video showing how easy that, that is to, to put that on there. But, um, yeah, so you got a little, this here, does that adjust the, the tension? Whoops, I'll go that way. Yep, so, yeah, that, that sort of sets the height of the arm. You know, you balance, balance it against the string tension. tension. Okay, great. Right. Uh, so, uh, so, you know, you can set the, set the arm height where you like it. Yep. And then, and then of, course, of course, you know, as we said, it's got, 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 got uh, the ball, ball bearing, so it's so very it's stable for tuning. tuning. And, and, and uh, you, you notice, notice the bridge, bridge is a roller bridge. bridge. Uh, so I didn't that notice that. Helps. I didn't notice that. But <laughs> helps again with the, with the stability of the yeah. tuning. Yeah. Man, I'm... Of and, these, and these screws here are actually in there. There's steel in the top. The stainless steel inserts that these are into, they're not wood screws. Oh, okay. So it's bolted really solidly, you know, made it to the guitar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there, there, there's no shift on that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it does definitely make for a very solid guitar. I love it. Like I say, there's, it just plays nicely. I love it. It's just so easy to play it. Good, good. Yep, that's my new, my new baby. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Uh, as well, got, your screws are recessed in here, uh, so you don't have a big plate. Nice and rounded. You guys did good. You guys did good. Kudos uh, to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh, he, he, he kept, kept kicking, kicking my, my ass, ass to change it. There's no, no, more string, string break, break. <laughs> more edge, yeah, yeah. more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, Joe, are you more the design side of this? Like, how, how do you guys work together on, on all this? Do you, do you guys have different specific roles in the business? Well, well, yeah, yeah Jim yeah, is uh, the, the main, main uh, guy that's in charge, in charge of all the 3D modeling, modeling and designing, and he and puts his own, own you know, the, uh, ideas, ideas onto, onto the, the shape and the contouring and, and all this, this kind of thing. thing. Yep. And, you know, and then our whole our team, team, there's a lot of specializing lot of going on. As he said, Ray is our, our body shaper. It's almost it's like shaping a surfboard. He's just, you know, really making sure every, every contour, contour, every, every detail, detail is really organic, organic and feeling good. good. So, you asked, by the way, about the sh how we came, came up with the initial shape. shape. Yeah. Uh, originally, originally, we were looking at the Les Paul, which is basically a figure eight. You know, you it's know, basically, basically a small a circle. circle. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, we said, we said well, well, maybe we'll swoop it a little bit. bit. So, so we kind of pull the side, side of it over and, and top left, left area yeah, yeah, yeah. The, by the port, port speaker. Yep. And, and originally, originally that was a port. port. Uh, uh, and, then and then we eventually turned it into a speaker because it got so much more, you know, bottom of the tone and it was much wider. So we call it a port speaker. The port speaker, uh, yeah, great. No, it yeah. definitely works, guys. Definitely works. I'm very impressed. Well, cool, man, man. we got any more questions in the chat room before we round things up? No, Lauren's yeah, saying. Speakers. Keep going, sorry. 
saying we, we went, went through, through a lot, lot, a lot, lot of testing, testing to, to uh, figure, figure out these exact, exact speakers. speakers. You know, they, they had to, had to meet, meet certain parameters. They're paper, paper cone. We wanted them to sound like guitar, guitar speakers, speakers, not high speakers. High speakers. So we, get, we got, we got the ones, ones that are that almost looks, looks like a, a Celestian or a shrunk gown, you know, and they have to be low profile enough to fit into this, you know, narrow body. And so yeah, a lot of testing. <laughs> that get <laughs> and we have the original prototype that started yeah, yeah. the whole idea. Yeah. And now we go to nine volt battery. Yeah, that one. Nine volt battery, Dan. That's what we brought over. And that should be in the Smithsonian. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Have... Hanging on the wall. We just had the uh, the question Does it go to 11 from Craig Greenfield? That's that's my old mate Skitsy. Hey, Skitsy. Does, does, does it go does to 11? Go to... Okay, it goes at 11.5 actually. 11.5. It actually does. Yeah. 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 Uh, she said, yep, that's how it felt playing it yesterday. And that simple chord sounded brilliant. So, um, the chorus? The chorus. Yeah, the chorus. Si simple, simple chords. Simple. I, I had yeah, a nice yeah. clean sound with a bit of the chorus and delay, and yeah, it, um, it sounded it yeah, it's big. It's big, big sound. It is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's uh, really cool because of the stereo effect and the parameters, you can really like fine tune it for a lot of different. You can get almost like a Leslie type effect with a little faster rate. And, and uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I, I call it the George Harrison button. <laughs> Cut the depth a little bit. Probably a bit too deep there, but yeah. Now it's a lot of fun, guys. Um, thank you so much again. I really love it. And Jam, Joe, Electrophonic Innovations. Electrophonic Innovations, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much thank for your time. Much, much fun. And, and, um, any, any questions or whatever, we'll, we'll stay in touch. Awesome, awesome. So, folks, thank you if you're still there watching live. Um, it was Jen and Joe. Uh, oh, hang on, I'm just, there we go. Oh, that would, yep. Woo! Stick around, I've got plenty more guests coming over uh, the next, woo. well, I'm going to do this twice a week if I can. Uh, Tuesday night, i got uh, Dave Leslie, Baby Animals, uh, joining me. And then when I go to Germany on the next day, I'm going to try and round up some of these YouTuber guys that you might know uh, to come and do some some stuff with me. So we'll see how it all goes. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys later. <laughs>